Hey beautiful, it's Miss Nikki from Mary Mom and Mogul, and I wanted to share with you today my prayer journal. But I wanted to show you first the bag that I carry it in. I call this my Bible study bag, and I am able to just grab the bag and carry it all over the house so that I can study anywhere I want. And more importantly, it keeps all my things corralled so when I'm ready to study, I can just grab the bag and it stores so easily. Now this bag came from Express Stores, but it was a gift to me so I have no idea how much it cost. But um, I absolutely love this bag and I don't carry it to church or anything, but um, I definitely could. I actually have it prepared for if I do decide to carry it to church. I got my little fan in there and stuff. But uh, I'm going to change the position of the camera so that I can share with you uh, all of the contents inside of my bag. So hold on for a second and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm ready. Let's get to it. So I'm just going to pull something out the bag and let's check it out. So the first thing I have is my bag from Coco Daisy. And I've saved all my bags from my past kits. And I'm so glad that I do because I can always use them for something like this. So I store my Tombow correction tape here. I have some Sharpies, an orange, yellow, and hot pink. I have some washi. These are my favorites. I seem to use them the most in my journal, so I just keep those in here. And I have some two-sided tape, and this is Attac um, Crafters Tape, and I get this off Amazon. I actually got my Tombow off Amazon too. I also keep a pair of tweezers. I like the pointed tweezer because they seem to get the stickers up a little easily. So I'm gonna throw all this back in here and I'll put this back. And let's see so I showed you my fan now the funny thing is I keep this fan in here and I um, carry this bag around the house because for some reason I keep getting hot so um, anyway <laughs> here's a book of prayers this is the power of a praying wife by stormy O'Martian and prayers that prevail this book, I actually, I highly recommend this for um, anyone that is serious about, about their prayer life. And it's a wonderful gift for someone that is um, newly baptized or um, new to praying. But I, I love it. And I'll refer to it when it seems that I'm um, praying for someone's, um, a specific item or something in particular that they have requested for me to pray for then I like to refer to this and I have given this book away several times and everyone that has received it has gone on and on about how helpful it can be especially when you personally are going through things and it seems that sometimes it's just hard to focus on your wording in prayer and this is a definitely definitely a help to mix it up a bit praying the psalms this is something that i also use every now and then i just like to have them with me in case i do want to want to refer to one of them but actually when i am doing my bible journaling i tend to um, use my U version app more than anything else this is my faith warrior accessory sticker book and I'll just flip through these really quickly and these are just some notes I've already been using it 
but I will flip through it very quickly just so you can see. It is full of helpful stickers and places for you to journal. I'm looking forward to using all of these. And I don't know if you are aware, but the rose gold, oh, that is just so beautiful to me. These, I probably need a sticker book of just this open Bible image because I tend to use these a lot. I've had those in other sticker books that I've used. But these are, these are nice. I think this is nice for just using in your planner as well as any type of Bible study or uh, scripture journaling, however you spend your time expressing yourself through your faith. I think that these are a nice addition and I am definitely looking forward to using them. I like these. I'm not a big fan of this um, lady that they have, but I'm going to definitely use her somewhere when I'm just trying to decorate at least, fill out some pages. I'm just a work in progress. Okay, so that's that. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It says $19.99, but I got it on sale. I think that they had like a 60% off coupon that day. I try to hold off until I can find a 60 or at least a 40% off coupon. Okay, so let's flip through this one really quickly. I have used this one. These pages, as you see, I've used those the month. And they just say Bible study. But I like the size of this. This is like... um. This is like a quarter box size for if you're using like an Erin Condra type planner. These are nice. I haven't quite found a use for these yet. But I am looking forward to see you're just seeing what's left now. But this is um it's really encouraging when you have the pages and you can add something. It can help organize your thoughts or just embellish your pages. But for me, I think that the stickers, they just make it a little bit more interesting. And that, that goes for my planner as well as, here's some more of those, I love those for journaling, for planning, it doesn't quite matter. I think that these are always useful. Look at that. And this is just like some um, washi strips. See that? These steel, I'm gonna be using that one soon. Okay, so most of the time the Happy Planner sticker books are about $20. So I think $20 is a little bit too much to be paying for stickers. So I do try to make sure that I catch those on sale. But all of these I keep in my bag so I can grab them if I want them. And as I show you the book, you'll see that I don't always use those. Sometimes I'll use my stamps. And here are just some pictures of my, my niece and my boys. And I do wanna share, I have shown you this planner before in my 2020 planner lineup. And, and I want to get the girl's name right. It's Mirokin. And she is the she's the one who made this planner, and it is based off of a Megan Hess illustration. And I don't know if I've shared before, but she is one of my favorite 
illustrators. I adore her. Let me make sure you can see this because this is beautiful. I love Louis Vuitton and with her using some of the images that she has um, done for Louis Vuitton to, to decorate or she has them in art, all kinds of things. And I just love Megan Hess and her art. These are just some prayers that I pray, um, most of them daily but they are um, private and special to me, so I'm not gonna share them, but I do keep them on these pretty pages. That all this is is um, scrapbook paper that I've gotten from different scrapbooks, and I just use them here. And this is just a list I hear the I am's in oh my goodness I've heard them in so many different ways and when I hear a new one I just write something down I just write it down to encourage me later sometimes I'll go through the whole list sometimes I'll just say a few some days I'll just say the ones that I need encouragement on now this is from 2019 I was a part of the princess prayer warrior group and these are the monthly scriptures that we studied for 2019. Now for 2020, I have been using my Version app only so far. So here are more Happy Planner stickers. And again, it seems that I use the same kind of stickers over and over. <laughs> So I do plan on using my stickers more this year. I follow the Reset Girl, and one of the things that she does is sets up her pages first before she starts to uh, write in her scriptures or prayers, and I think I'm going to start doing that as well. And here's just a key on um, how I use those those highlighters that I showed you earlier as well as when I use my Uversion app I actually highlight in the different colors and they coordinate with these things the daily verse I study from the Joel Osteen app and when I'm doing a plan challenge from the Uversion app or when I'm just doing an independent study I use the orange this is the words to the song more than anything and i am so mad that i did not put the person who made the song that wrote the song and i love the song so much i have sang the song to my children as they when they were babies when i'd be putting them to sleep they love the song as well now this here is just um, a list of the scriptures that I had written. This is before I started the Princess Prayer Warrior. Then I have all these recorded here. And I started off with um, decorating my pages when I first started this journal. Now I'm going to flip through because this planner is very thick and you'll be here forever. So I'm going to flip through it quickly. And just show you mainly how I changed the way that I wrote scripture. And I started off using my Planner Society um, die cuts and washi. Then I went to my stamps. Then as we get further along, you'll see I started being, um, I guess, influenced by a young lady it's, I'll have to link it below, uh, Delay Girl, I think it's some numbers behind it. And um, she makes these journals and they are absolutely gorgeous. But she has encouraged me to be a little bit more creative in the way that I plan. I have included a lot of ephemera throughout my Bible journal and it is so encouraging and inspiring and just beautiful to see the scriptures recorded this way. I have a tuck spot here. And then there's more scripture there. And I, I just see that with using... 
with using my pages decorated like this and with all of the different tuck places and journaling spaces, it has encouraged me to study on a regular basis as well as to refer back and you know look at the scriptures it this is called a belly band here and i see that it has helped with my study time with my memorization of the scriptures and it's just a way the book is the bible is huge <laughs> so this is just another way of um expressing my creativity as well as um, taking my time to actually study the Bible. Isn't that beautiful? I know everyone isn't into this old art, but the ephemera is what they actually call it, is beautiful to me. And most of what I use is what I call fake ephemera because it looks like old pieces of mail but they actually aren't these are printed most of these things I've printed out myself and I will print these on different kinds of papers that way it'll give me a different effect each time I am writing on the paper this here is an envelope that I just punched some holes in and folded so that I could have all these different spots to post the, um, to put in the little postcards. This is just some washi tape that I use to help me create this trifold addition or pull out from my sheet. And if you take a look, most of these are like, um, old receipts since they were handwriting receipts then these were just some of the things that um, they were used now I must say that it many of these things that I have printed are uh, real documents like they actually were used as a check but I was able to just print off you know a copy of it it is not the original documents of course but um, you can purchase ephemera from like estate sales and Etsy shops. They are selling them. This is some uh, patent sheet for the Monopoly game. And it's in, from December 31st, 1935. And I just recorded my uh, one of my challenges on the back. But... I love studying the Bible like this. And maybe my um, inspiration actually comes from the Bible being such an old book that it just seems appropriate to have some of this old paper to document some of my favorite scriptures and to study this way. But it encourages me is encouraging you as well this is just a divider that I've put here it I actually moved this around my journal to help me locate the places where there are empty um, journal spots and I just use this spot so that's why this is here so the next time I open up my tomorrow I usually do my planning in the morning my journaling in the morning I'll be able to come in and just move that to the next um, empty spot. And I see there's one right there. I think I've already passed one. So now we're getting into the section where I have uh, set aside for prayers for people. Now I just recently started using this section because I had, um, I had not been recording the prayers that I have for other people. But for the ones that I have, I don't think I'm going to share. But for the scriptures, I will. This section is for my husband. 
and let's see this is a beautiful sheet that I have in you let me make sure you can see this because this is pretty cool how I have this here and then it has another spot here so I am looking forward to filling this out and I hope this has been some um, encouragement for you that it doesn't have to be um, <laughs> just pen and paper. You can be as creative as you want. And for me, it just encourages me to write more, to study more, and to just get a little deeper into God's Word. And... Since I love planning and journaling and there is some, um, <laughs> a creative bug that gets me all the time, this is just another way for me to express myself. Let's see, that's beautiful. I'll be able to write it this way. You just tuck that there. So that is the end. And... I'm going to cut this soon so I can include that in here. But that is the end. And I have loved sharing this with you. And I look forward to showing you how my study progresses in the future. And until then, remember to be beautiful because somebody's watching you. Thank you.